reason today is special is because I came home from the office to find this waiting for me. Uh, it was uh, it was box stuff a lot better and had newspaper padding in it and stuff, but uh, I just couldn't contain myself. I had to open it up and start messing with it, and then I thought to video this. Anyway, what this device is, it is a chicken brooder heater, and its purpose is to keep little baby chicks warm in their brooder. Now, this is an old-timey thing back in the days of kerosene. I've already started messing with it. I've sprayed some oil on it, and I'm trying to free up the mechanism because it's been sitting for a gazillion years with a chicken house dirt on it, and Lord only knows what else. So, what's going to happen is I'm going to clean this thing up, and I am going to use it not to keep a chicken brooder warm, but to warm my greenhouse. I'm going to keep my plants from frosting to death on nights when it gets too cold. Super simple technology. It works, uh, basically it works exactly like a kerosene lantern. One of those old timey kerosene lanterns works. Except for it has a really wide wig. It's like, I don't know, maybe like an inch and a half or so wide. And uh, other than that, though, it works the same way as those antique kerosene lanterns that your grandparents probably have sitting on the fireplace mantel. Um, so you've got the little adjustment knob that runs the wick up and down. This thing is constructed, I don't know what brand this is, I need to do some research, but this thing is constructed completely out of brass. I was impressed. Um, <clears throat> nice non-ferrous metal. Never had to worry about this part rusting away anyhow. But yeah, just like uh, one of those little old-timey kerosene lanterns, this uh, screws onto the base, fill it with kerosene, saturate the wick. And um, instead of having a glass globe on it though, it uses this guy right here, this metal chimney, because we're not making light with it. We're interested in the heat this thing puts off. So I guess this chimney, uh, it helps create the uh, the chimney effect. The draft comes up through the bottom and uh, helps helps have a, a clean burn. But uh, it also captures and radiates the heat as well so that it can do its job as a heater. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna clean it up and put it back into service for us again. Of course, as you saw, it's uh, completely filthy, much like my dishwasher here. Um, so I, I need to clean it up and uh, fortunately my wife is not home so here we go all right let's see how she did oh she fogged up yeah I can work with this a little bit of brasso that'd be beautiful you just wait. I know you don't believe me, but I'll show you. Okay, so <clears throat> first round with Brasso. It's, uh, it's a lot cleaner than before, but you know, it's, it's not super shiny, beautiful, not precious, whatever. Um, I'm okay with that. I was actually, um, I almost painted this. I was going to paint the whole thing and I decided I kind of like it the way it is. Um, yeah, character and stuff. So I'm going to leave it like this. I'm just going to assemble it and uh, use it a little bit the way it is. And I don't know, maybe I'll paint it later one day, but I think it's kind of cool how it is. So here we go. So I poured a bunch of that red dyed kerosene in here because um, it's all you can get around my neighborhood. They, uh, they sell that non-tax red dyed kerosene because they think I might try to run my diesel engine off of it or something uh, anyway we're gonna just let it sit here for a while and make sure that nothing seeps out of the bottom make sure that the seams are all still soldered good and uh, if everything looks good to go we'll put the burner on it see what happens The instructions say something to the effect of like pour it in, pour a bunch in, and then slosh the tank all around and make sure you coat it really good. 
All right, I've coated the inside very well, and it says you can pour any extra back in to the cans for later use. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Pour back the extra, and then I'm going to wipe the excess off of the tank and let it sit for a day and report back. Don't get this stuff on your skin. It's as bad as super glue. All right, so I wiped the excess off and cleaned out the little vent hole with the toothpick really good and it's, uh, it's ready to sit, see what happens.